Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on how to leverage AWS Spot instances to significantly reduce your EC2 costs. EC2, or Elastic Compute Cloud, is one of the most popular services offered by Amazon Web Services. However, running on-demand EC2 instances can get quite expensive, especially at scale. In this video, I'm going to explain what Spot instances are, the benefits they offer, and walk you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to create and use them. So, what exactly are Spot instances? Spot instances are a cost-effective alternative to on-demand EC2 instances. They allow you to bid on and used EC2 capacity, often at steep discounts of 50 to 90% off the on-demand price. The trade-off is that Spot instances can be interrupted with little notice if AWS needs the capacity back. This makes them best suited for fault-tolerant, flexible workloads that can handle interruptions, such as batch processing, distributed computing, and dev or test environments. The main benefits of using spot instances include significant cost savings. As I mentioned, you can see savings of 50 to 90% compared to on-demand pricing. The ability to scale your infrastructure up and down automatically to handle spikes in demand. Flexibility to handle interruptions and failover to on-demand instances if needed. Overall, spot instances provide a very cost-effective way to run certain types of workloads on AWS. Okay, let's walk through the steps to create an Amazon EC2 spot instance. First, log into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the EC2 dashboard. Click the Launch Instance button to go to the Launch an Instance page. In this demo, we are going to proceed through the steps to configure an instance using Amazon Linux 2023 image. For instance type, we will choose the M5 large instance, which has an on-demand pricing of 0.096 US dollars per hour. We will use an existing key pair and keep the default network and storage setting values. Now, expand the Advanced Details section. Under the Purchasing option, let's select the Spot Instance checkbox to configure a Spot Instance request. We will click the Customize Spot Instance Options link to specify custom settings for the Spot Instance request. For Maximum Price, you can choose No Maximum Price to launch your Spot Instance at the current Spot Price. This price will never exceed the on-demand price of the requested instance type. Or, you can choose Set Your Maximum Price option to specify the maximum price you are willing to pay. Remember, if you specify a maximum price that is less than the current spot price, your spot instance will not launch. If you specify a maximum price that is more than the current spot price, your spot instance will launch and be charged at the current spot price. After your spot instance is running, if the spot price rises above your maximum price, Amazon EC2 interrupts your spot instance. Regardless of the maximum price you specify, you will always be charged the current spot price. To check the most recent EC2 spot instance pricing, you can go to this web page. Here, you can select an AWS region and query the spot pricing of an instance type. In this demo, we can check M5 large instance type. You can see the most recent spot instance pricing for M5 large is 0.044 US dollars per hour, which gives you about 54% discount comparing with on-demand pricing. In this demo, we will select No Maximum Price, the recommended option to launch the instance at the current spot price. For Request Type, you can determine what happens if your spot instance is interrupted. Choose One Time. If you want to place a one-time request for your spot instance, if your spot instance is interrupted, the request is not resubmitted. Choose Persistent Request. If you want to place a persistent request for your spot instance. If your spot instance is interrupted, the request is resubmitted to replenish the interrupted spot instance. In this demo, we will choose the one-time request, which is the default value. The valid to field is to set the expiration date of a persistent spot instance request. 
This field is not supported for one-time requests. A one-time request remains active until all the instances in the request launch or you cancel the request. For interruption behavior, you choose the behavior when a spot instance is interrupted. For persistent requests, valid values are stop and hibernate. For one-time requests, only terminate is valid. Now, you have completed the spot instance configuration. You can review the details of your instance on the summary panel and make any necessary changes. When you're ready to launch your instance, choose Launch Instance. A confirmation page lets you know that your instance is launching. Scroll down and choose View All Instances to close the confirmation page and return to the Instance Console. On the Instances screen, you can view the status of your spot instance. To verify it's a spot instance, you can click the Instance link. On the Instance Summary page, under Details tab, the Lifecycle field should show Spot to indicate it's a Spot instance. Congratulations! You've now created an Amazon EC2 Spot instance. In this video, we explained what Amazon EC2 Spot instances are and how to get started using them. Spot instances are a powerful tool that, when used correctly, can provide significant savings without sacrificing performance. And remember, spot instances work best for fault-tolerant, flexible applications that can handle interruptions. Don't use them for mission-critical production workloads that require 100% uptime. As best practices, you want to combine spot instances with other purchase models, such as on-demand instances and savings plans, to maximize cost savings. Also use spot instances with Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling to optimize workload cost with performance. For those who want to dive deeper, I've included a link in the video description to the official AWS user guide on creating an Amazon EC2 spot instance. I have also put a link in the video description pointing to the EC2 spot instances pricing page. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AWS tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments below what other AWS services you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.